Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining, and uh, welcome to our first RedCap webinar training session. We will have uh, weekly sessions, but today's topic will be on uh, the survey queue. <clears throat> so um, my name is Mike, and I am a RedCap admin uh, for VCU, as well as um, a software developer. Um, <clears throat> So that's me, but uh, we're going to have other presenters as well, um, including Stephen Wu, we can call him Wu, Patrick, um, Tyler, and maybe Tim as well. So let's go ahead and uh, get started here. <clears throat> so the uh, the flow is that uh, I'll go ahead and uh, explain in details during my demonstration of um, uh, the survey queue. And at any time, you can interject and ask questions on the chat screen if need be. Again, you can find the uh, uh, training topic sessions and information on our research portal. And you can go here, big portal, page, training slash topics, and all the information about the weekly training would be available here. This information would uh, change because we'll have uh, new GoToMeeting sessions uh, weekly. So as you can see, this is um, in progress right now. Anyways, let's go ahead and switch ourselves over to RedCap. I've already gone into RedCap, logged in, I created a project. So in order for a project to be enabled as a survey, you have to click on Enable this project as a survey. So once you have that available, <clears throat> click on Online Designer. This is the location where you can enable different instruments to be a survey. So a requirement, a basic requirement for a survey queue in our case is that you will require to have more than one instrument enabled as a survey. In this case, we have uh, demographics, enrollment, and quarterly intake instruments enrolled or enabled as a survey. Let's say that we don't have um, we don't have uh, these instruments enabled as a survey. Uh, can we have our survey queue? And the short answer is that no, you can't because you have to have more than one. Uh, survey to enable the survey queue functionality to be available. So let's see, let's prove that fact here. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and turn off all the surveys for the these instruments or basically disable them. So now I have no instrument turned on as a survey. So let's say I have one turned on this instrument is a survey now. Can I go ahead and create a survey queue? No, I can't because I only have one instrument as a survey. Again, I have to enable at least one. I mean, at least two. I'm sorry, at least two. So I'm going to enable this instrument, enrollment instrument, as a survey. So now I have two. So now if I go and click on this where it says survey queue button, you should then get a new screen that uh, enables us to utilize the survey queue functionality. So that's where we want to be at here. On top, you can add um, survey queue directions if you, if you have some. And what we have to do is we have to activate um, the survey queue for this survey. So uh, you, as you can see, you only have one here. That's because uh, you would have to finish maybe uh, demographics or some other survey prior to uh, start this survey, which is enrollment. <clears throat> At the right-hand side over here, what you need to do is um, you have to have some sort of rule or logic in order for this to um, start. And maybe potentially you don't have any, but um, you know, you, you do want to have some sort of um, uh, sequence. So let's say that you have um, 
uh, dem completed the em demographics uh, survey, you want the enrollment for survey to be fired, then that's that's the role you can create here. And it's a straightforward role. Basically, when demographics comes complete, the enrollment <coughs> instrument or survey would be fired. So let's just go ahead and save this. And we'll go ahead and close this. And then we can go ahead and test our newly uh, enabled functionality, which is a survey queue. Click on Manage Survey Participants. And then click on Open Public Survey. When we do this, we are essentially emulating the end user or the surveys. So let's say I'm a survey person taking the survey. Uh, I would enter all this information here. Scroll down, and I hit the Submit button. So what happens then, I get a new screen that allows me to see what all the um, survey that has been, been enabled in the survey queue. You know, I can have sequential. If you have 10, I would I would see 10 surveys available here. But in our instance, we potentially could have three. So they would begin new survey, and then they would enter data as before. Go ahead and close to, to start, close our end user experience. Click on project setup again. Go back to online designer. So now if I enable the quarterly intake survey or instrument as a survey, that will then provide with me with more options and the survey queue. So let's see what happens now. Survey queue. As you can see, we have another survey we can uh, queue in. So we activate this. So um, again, we use the, the rule when the following survey is complete, well, enrollment survey completes, then go ahead and fire this. So we're doing a very sequential uh, uh, way of queuing up here, but you don't have to follow this, uh, you know, one after the other, you can skip if you want to, and that maybe you have another uh, survey ahead of this we can use. Okay, go ahead and choose enrollment or whatever survey you have. Um, this time we're going to go ahead and enable the auto start. For the auto start, what happens is that once a survey has completed, like demographics, it would automatically fire the screen for the for the enrollment survey. This makes it very easy for the user to maneuver through the survey and quickly take the survey instead of having them uh, look at the list of surveys to take. So this is, uh, this could enable you to enforce the user to follow through a certain pattern rather than having the user um, click, them, click it for themselves. So go ahead and you can use auto start here as well, save, so let's go ahead and see how that looks now. Click on Manage Survey to Participants here, and click, then click on Open Open Public Survey. Again, we're going to go ahead and with the test, always test. Survey, submit. As you can see, the second survey that we have, enrollment, has been fired automatically, and it's a separate screen. Um, so they can enter the data here, submit, and again, the third survey has been fired and quarterly intake is appearing into the data. Submit. Now they get a general um, summary of what they've done, and then they can just click on close survey. So that's pretty much it for the survey queue. Very uh, straightforward usage. Uh, it could be very powerful if you use it um, in some of your projects. You know, I don't think all projects require this or need this, but uh, if you have multiple uh, surveys you need to have users take, then you can um, enable a survey queue, which is pretty powerful. So that's it. Thanks.